to your weekly giddy up. I'm Haley Weeks. And I'm Jack Coin. First off, this Friday, September 28th, is the ROTC Car Wash. If you have tickets, now would be the time to spend them. Also, Interact Club is doing a children's book drive. All the books will be going to children since, you know, they're children books. But either way, if you see any boxes in the office, their care center, and IA1, be sure to donate. It will be going on until October 3rd. And Colts, if you need any information about college, go to coltsgotocollege.weebly.com. Finally, homecoming tickets and shirts are finally on pre-order and sale. Tickets are $6 for one person and $10 for couples. Also, if you want to pre-order your shirts now, they're $6. Go to Leadership After School to order. And now, Colts, we're going to take it over to Bryson Parko for the sports report. I'm Bryson Parko. This is your sports report. Today, we're focusing on girls golf. Now we've got an interview with girls golf coach, Mr. Biggins. Uh, as far as girls golf goes this season, we've got um, Lily Lant, who is uh, the number one player in the North region last year. So we're really hopeful for her and how she's going to perform this season. We also have uh, Peyton Farmer, who's one of our seniors. She's been playing all four years and her game has improved over the course of her time in high school. Uh, she's had some top 10 finishes this year, so we're really excited about that. And then we have some younger players. We have Maddie Hunden, who's a sophomore, and she just picked up golf last year, but she uh, she's done really well. She's acclimated herself to the game really well, and she's uh, on the verge of breaking 100, and that's a really cool thing as a golfer is concerned. And then we have Kayla Voss, who's a freshman, and uh, she's been playing with her dad. Uh, but she's starting to put it together in the rounds and scoring for us. And then we have some uh, JV players and some other players that are kind of reaching up to varsity right now. Aaliyah, Aaliyah Merrill is one of those. She's qualified for a couple of our varsity tournaments. And so uh, we're hopeful for our program because we've got some young kids uh, that are coming out. And so it's building up the program. Uh, how has the season been so far? Uh, thus far, the season's been good. We're currently sitting in second place in our region. Uh, and that's really cool because we haven't even taken a team score for the past three seasons. And so it's nice for us to not only be competing as individuals, but being being able to compete as a team this year. I think our goals for the season, we want to finish second in our region. And uh, we really want to make it to state. And that's one of the goals that we have for, for the team. Um, individually, there's some players that are trying to break personal records. Like I said, Maddie Hunnage is trying to get down below 100, Peyton Farmer's trying to get below 90, uh, and Lily's trying to keep it right even and even get below par on some of her uh, tournaments. So that's what we're looking forward to this season, and that's what our players are shooting for. Now we got scores for all fall sports this season. Now we got a schedule for all of the upcoming games and meets for this upcoming week. We're now going to take it over to Hector and Quentin for the club announcements. Hey guys, welcome back to your club announcements. Hey guys, I'm Quentin Rounds, and I'm here with Nick Osborne from Wooster Players. So, what is Wooster Players? Wooster Players holds the productions and the plays that are happening, such as our upcoming play Dracula. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, he is Dracula in the play Dracula. So, what do you do in Wooster Players? We do a lot of acting, but there's also some tech elements behind it, such as operating the sounds and the lights and making props and all that good stuff. So, what is your personal favorite part about Wooster Players? Personal favorite? Definitely acting. I love it. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. Now back to you guys. Giddy giddy, that's all, Colts. And I have nothing. Hope you guys have a great week, and if you want to see anything on the Giddy Up, go talk to Mr. Bishop about it.